there are a bunch of math functions that we can use in JavaScript. To use these functions, we type in the word math, starting with a capital M, and add a dot right after. You'll notice we have a bunch of functions that we can use, which are technically called methods because they're part of something known as objects. However, that's something that we'll cover later in this course. For now, just understand that what we're about to cover are mathematical functions in JavaScript. Now I'll be putting these math functions inside of a console log. That way we get our results instantly. Let's start with the math.abs function. abs in this case means absolute. This math function takes in a number and gives us back the absolute value of that number. For example, if I pass in negative five, this function will give us positive five. This function is useful when we want to work with positive numbers, regardless of the original sign. Let's talk about the math.seal function. This function takes in a decimal number and it will round this number up to the next whole number. So if we use 3.14 as an example, this function will give us back four. No matter how small this decimal point is, this function will always give us back the next whole number. The math.floor function is very similar to the math.seal function. It takes in a decimal number and it rounds it down to the nearest whole number. So if we use 3.14 as an example again, this function will give us back 3. And if I add 3.999, it will still give us 3 because it is rounding this decimal number down to the nearest whole number. Another useful function is the math.round function. This function takes in a decimal number and it will give us the nearest integer. So if we pass in 3.14, this function will give us 3. And if we pass in 3.6, this function will give us back 4. The math.max and math.min functions are also important to know about. The math.max function takes in as many numbers as you want to pass in and it will return the largest one. So if I pass in a random set of numbers, this function will give us back the largest number, which in this case is 109. The math.min function is basically the same and it returns the smallest number from a set of numbers. Finally, the math.random function is used to generate random numbers. It gives us a random number between 0 and 1. If I save my file multiple times, you'll see there's a random number generated every time. This function is often used in game development and other applications where randomness is needed. Now these are just a few of the many math functions available in JavaScript. But by understanding how to use these functions, you can make your mathematical calculations easier and more efficient.